Airsoft is a modern shooting sport. Airsoft guns themselves are legal in many parts of the world, although some countries have specific restrictions such as maximum muzzle energy, against using the trademarks of real firearms and special marking requirements. Some of the information found here is based on what the players on that particular country experience and it may not be the law there. Australia Importation of airsoft guns a euro regardless of their legal status by state a euro requires an Australian Customs B709 importation of firearms a euro police confirmation and certification form. These forms can be obtained from the relevant state's police department, however some states may require operators hold a valid license for the class of firearm wish to import before the forms will be issued. Airsoft possession is generally not considered a valid reason for obtaining a firearms license. As a general rule, the following types of airsoft guns are illegal in all states, guns with folding or detachable stocks, guns capable of fully automatic fire, guns that outwardly resemble a submachine gun or machine pistol, in addition, each state has its own legislation regarding possession and use of airsoft guns, New South Wales, Airsoft is regulated under the Firearms Act 1996 that classifies them as firearms which the New South Wales Police do not allow any genuine reason for. Queensland, airsoft weapons, under current legislation, irrespective of muzzle velocity, cannot be lawfully possessed in Queensland. As an airsoft firearm cannot be used in Queensland lawfully it cannot be imported into Queensland. South Australia Changes to South Australian law mean that airsoft guns with a muzzle velocity of less than 175 Fahrenheit per second are considered regulated imitation firearms, while those guns exceeding this limit are considered firearms. In practice both types fall under the same licensing and storage requirements, as regulated imitations are considered de facto firearms by law. Furthermore, they are considered to belong to the class of firearm they imitate for example, a Russian M1 carbine would be considered a Class D firearm, as it imitates a semi-automatic centre-fire rifle. Regardless of this, South Australian police will refuse to register an airsoft rifle. Victoria, airsoft articles are not permitted in Victoria under the Victorian legislation and Victoria police will not issue any authorization for their importation on the basis that no genuine reason exists to own them, because there is no approved range in Victoria. Western Australia, airsoft articles are not permitted in Western Australia and Western Australian police will not issue any authorization for their importation. Northern Territory, only paintball guns are prohibited in the Northern Territory, and all other airsoft firearms are legal with the right firearms license. Australian Capital Territory, the ACT is governed by the Australian Federal Police. All airsoft guns that resemble semi-automatic or automatic military rifles or shotguns adapted for military purpose are considered prohibited weapons, as are an imitation or replica of any firearm unless it is of a type approved by the registrar. Tasmania, due to the nature of the sport of airsoft it is classified as AA Euro or Gamia Euro unregistered trademark which is defined in the Firearms Act 1996 as a simulated military exercise or similar activity in which a firearm is used or carried by a person. Section 119 of the Firearms Act 1996 prohibits a person from taking part in, allowing, causing, assisting or advertising or promoting any war games. As a result war games such as paintball and airsoft are prohibited in Tasmania. It has previously been established that an airsoft gun would be categorized as an air rifle or air pistol for which a Category A or Category H firearms license would be required, however, the Firearms Act does not provide for an appropriate a Euro genuine re a Euro unregistered trademark to possess a firearm for airsoft activities. Therefore an airsoft firearm would not be able to be registered in Tasmania as the applicant could not provide a satisfactory reason for wanting to own and possess the firearm. In short, the playing of the sport of airsoft and the possession of airsoft firearms in Tasmania is currently banned and this position will not change in the near future. Direct quote in response to an emailed inquiry. Austria Airsoft guns and pistols with less than 0.08 joule are age 3 plus, 0. 5 are ages 14 plus and greater than 0, 5 18 plus. Argentina, in Argentina, airsoft guns and pistols are not regulated, 
but only legal age citizens can buy them. Armenia, airsoft guns with muzzle energy below 3 joules are legal, not considered weapons and do not require any permission. Belgium, in Belgium, weapons that launch a projectile without the use of a combustion fire are unrestricted, it is stipulated as a free-to-purchase weapon which can be only bought by persons aged 18 years or older mandatory checked by any form of identification, the only exclusions are those on the forbidden weapons list. This includes those used for airsoft and paintball. However if a weapon is shorter than 60 cm, or has a barrel shorter than 30 cm and shoots 7.5 joules of energy or above it is classified as a firearm and needs registration. Commercial salus exports may only be done by licensed firearms dealers. Non-commercial sales or owner transfers can be freely done by anyone aged 18 years or older. In general, all events must take place in private locations. Organizations may host airsoft events under the condition that they are not affiliated with ideological or religious agendas. Also the local authorities such as the mayor's administration and the police need to be notified and their consent has to be given. In the Flemish region and when organizing more than two times per year with maximum four days in a row it is mandatory to have an environment permit, also when organizing in a designated forest area a permission from the regional nature and forest agency is needed. In the Walloon area in general it is sufficient to inform the local authorities. There is no clear law on how to transport airsoft replicas, but it is commonly accepted among players to transport replicas as if they were real firearms, as to avoid any chance of hassle with the authorities. This means that the replicas must be covered while transporting them through public domain, in a gun bag for example. Also when carrying transporting airsoft replicas a plausible explanation has to be given when asked by law enforcement authorities which will be reviewed and checked on a case-to-case -case basis. In general, following reasons are accepted, transport home skirm, transport home dealer and transport home by a home seller. Also due to strict environmental laws it is mandatory to use biodegradable BBs. The use of gun-mounted lasers or night vision scope sights is illegal for civilians, however the use of regular scope sights and night vision goggles a euro is not. This is because gun-mounted lasers and night vision scope sights are looked upon as being only useful in military context or for assassination. Also the possession and using a real silencer is forbidden for the same reasons though a dummy fake silencer is legal. Brazil, airsoft is a very recent shooting sport in Brazil. In the past, due to lack of regulation, airsoft was usually misinterpreted as a firearm clone or replica. Nowadays, airsoft is legal but there are strong restrictions. Based on the current minutes that have gone public, airsoft is considered a gun subjected to control depending upon certain characteristics, gas-powered airsoft guns should have a special permit for transportation nationwide. Spring guns do not need any transportation permit other than in manufacture, airports or harbors. People under 18 are not allowed to buy airsoft guns and commercial entities importers are obliged to retain documentation of airsoft buyers for five years. An orange tip is required in order to differentiate it from firearms. There are still strong restrictions to import accessories such as holographic sights, red dots and magazines. Airsoft is also expensive in Brazil, it costs the same as a real firearm in the US, which will make very hard for airsoft to become popular in Brazil. Bulgaria, airsoft is a legal sport in Bulgaria and there are no restrictions placed on the guns apart from a parent's permission for people under 18. As airsoft guns are considered air guns by the Bulgarian law, no documents, licenses or anything else is needed to possess them. There are no restrictions about lasers, flashlights etc. Moreover, there is no need for the end of the barrel to be painted in orange. There are neither restrictions about the power of the air guns airsoft guns nor about carrying them in public areas. Shooting in protected areas is forbidden. Protected areas are schools, administrative buildings and other public property as well as public areas. Canada, under the Canadian Firearms Programme, Airsoft guns resembling with near precision an existing make and model of an arm, other than an antique arm, are considered replica arms and therefore are prohibited devices. Colored, black, full metal, miniaturized versions, 
or models resembling antique arms may be allowed with muzzle velocity between 366-500 fps. Therefore being designated as an uncontrolled arm as of 2011 before this one could only purchase black and clear airsoft guns. Generally, antique arms are those manufactured before 1898. Air guns with a maximum muzzle velocity of 152.4 AMS and or a maximum muzzle energy of 5.7 joules or 4.2 foot-pounds are exempt from licensing, registration, and other requirements. And from penalties for possessing an arm without a valid license or registration certificate. The Criminal Code of Canada requires that reasonable precautions be taken to use, carry, handle, store transport and ship these devices in a safe and secure manner. Airsoft guns that exceed either of the maximum velocity or muzzle energy are considered arms. An airsoft gun is treated just as if it was a real arm when used to commit or attempt a crime. In Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Ontario, British Columbia and Quebec, the minimum age to purchase airsoft is 18. Children under age will be able to use arms. Children under 18 must be supervised by someone over 18. Nowadays, many overseas international retailers in the US as well as in Asia sell Canadian ready guns, or offer services to make them meet Canada's requirements. Oftentimes, if the CBSA is unsure, a letter will be sent out, and an appeal can be made to test the gun. These airsoft guns are typically sent to the importer's local police agency for the firearms to be tested. This process typically takes two weeks to even a whole year. Most tend to be in the two months range. Chile Chile is the first country in the world to recognize airsoft as a full competitive sport. Therefore, airsoft is legal, but not allowed to minors. China In the People's Republic of China, despite it is rumored that airsoft is banned, they are actually tightly controlled. According to the Public Security Bureau recognized standard of an imitation gun, an imitation gun with a muzzle energy above 1.8 joule of kinetic energy, or an appearance so realistic that makes it indistinguishable in shape, size and color is considered as illegal. However, people buy and store them regardless of legal issues. Sales and storage of airsoft guns may also be illegal in mainland China. To avoid the government finding airsoft online, Various underground airsoft players often refer to AG, automatic electric guns as electric dog, DN Guisi. Colombia, in Colombia, airsoft replicas are treated by law not as a replicas or toys, but as proper pneumatic guns which are free to trade, but illegal to be used in any manner that may endanger or intimidate members of the public, except where there is reasonable cause such as a game or match in a private property if it does not bother others. In Colombia all warlike toys are strictly prohibited, which is why replicas are labeled under pneumatic guns. All replicas, sites, magazines, optics, etc., require a government permit prior to importation. However they are free to trade in sports stores, where they are only available for purchase to people over 18 years. Miners may use them under the direct supervision of someone over 18. It is prohibited to have any replica gun in public sight. This is treated similarly to illegal possession of a real firearm. A firearm certificate is not required. All airsoft guns have to be transported concealed in a bag in the trunk, etc. It is legal to buy, possess and sell airsoft replicas. Croatia, airsoft replicas fall into the D category of weapons and to buy one users have to be at least 18 years old. Maximum allowed muzzle velocity for various categories of rifles by Croatian Airsoft Federation are, AEG, 400 FPS max, machine gun, 450 FPS max, DMR, 500 FPS max, bolt action, 600 FPS max, Czech Republic, airsoft guns in Czech Republic belongs to category D firearms, which are regulated by Czech firearm law. Weapons including ammunition can be purchased, owned and used by every person older than 18 years old. There is no need to have any certificate or permission. Airsoft weapons are prohibited to use on public places where they might threaten other people or damage property. Firearms law prohibit use of specific gun accessories like night vision or laser. Airsoft guns are limited up to 16 joules, 
but this is a limitation for all weapons in Category D carrying any visible firearm in public places is prohibited. Denmark, airsoft guns are mentioned in the Danish Vajen Benlov. Persons have to be at least 18 years old to buy, hand over or possess airsoft guns. They may be used on police-approved sites, with a permission slip, at the age of 16. A firearm certificate is not required. All airsoft guns have to be transported concealed in a bag or in the trunk etc. Egypt, airsoft guns are illegal to own or possess in Egypt and they are not sold there, but one could find low-quality spring-powered guns, also some people interested in the sport are trying to get permission and allow the government of Egypt to let them import and possess airsoft guns. Estonia, the law does not mention or recognize airsoft guns in detail but sets restrictions on public carry of firearm replicas. While the current firearm law would classify airsoft guns as air guns, it also sets restrictions for air guns to not exceed 4.5 mm diameter pellets making 6 mm BBs de jure illegal. Despite laws being unclear, the sport is practiced widely without any actual issues so far, customs enable import without any limitations, Local law enforcement is aware of public sales and organized events, and even the military has acquired airsoft guns for urban and close quarters combat training. Finland, airsoft guns are not treated as firearms in law, but visible transportation of any replica firearms in public areas is forbidden. All replica firearms must be covered with something, for example, a firearm case, when moving on public area. Landowners' permission is needed to play airsoft in any area. Miners are able to purchase airsoft guns only with written permission from their legal guardians. France, visible transportation of replica firearms in public areas is forbidden. They must be covered with something, for example, a firearm case. Landowners' permission is needed to play airsoft in any area. An orange marking on the tip is not needed. Miners can only buy airsoft guns which are under 0.08 joules in power. Airsoft guns may only have a power under 2 joules, otherwise they are no longer qualified as airsoft replicas but firearms and owners should follow the French weapons law. Germany, airsoft guns under 0.2 joule are considered toy guns and can be sold to all persons above 10 years of age. Airsoft guns under 0.5 joule are considered toy guns and can be sold to all persons above 14 years of age. All airsoft guns between 0.5 joule and 7.5 joule must be bolt action or semi-automatic only and can only be sold to people who are 18 years or older. These are considered free firearms. As a result, sales of guns of more than 0.5 joule are allowed only in firearms shops and guns must be marked with a trader's weapon abbreviation and AF in a pentagon mark as well as the airsoft gun caliber. All airsoft guns with powers over 0.5 joule of energy, need to be semi-automatic only and carry the F in a pentagon and associated markings to be legal in Germany, rendering all other airsoft guns with more than 0.5 joule of energy illegal. Visitors or persons, who plan to move to Germany can obtain the required markings on existing airsoft guns from one of the localized seven best chasse armed authorities in Germany. There is a specific procedure for that, including the firearms prior to be converted to semi-auto and to be sent in from abroad only. There is no need for the end of the barrel to be painted in orange. While the possession and trade of legal airsoft guns is generally and unrestrictedly allowed, the use of airsoft guns in a game is hotly debated. That is why some players using guns with more than 0.5 joule muzzle energy leave Germany to play in countries like France, Belgium, Denmark, the Czech Republic or Austria. Players are allowed to carry and fire airsoft guns on private property only, with specific measures in place to prevent airsoft fire to leave the perimeter. There is a significantly growing number of privately owned or commercially operated airsoft skirm sites in Germany. It is strictly prohibited to carry or display airsoft guns in public, although several exceptions may apply for example filmmaking or at police registered events. Legal airsoft guns can be carried legally when unloaded and in locked containers such as bags or a firearms cases. Target illuminating devices and lasers must not be attached to guns but illegal otherwise. For example, 
the possession of a flashlight is allowed, even shooting with a flashlight in one hand and the gun in the other, but attaching it via mount ring to the rail system of a gun is not. Devices made specifically for the purpose of being attached to a gun are prohibited. More information can be found at Airsoft FAQ on laws in Germany, which covers more complicated issues like the Kleiner Waffenin, issues with the OWIGA Section 118 in Bavaria and a definition of the term combat shooting. Greece, Airsoft is basically an underground sport in Greece because the law is a little foggy. According to the law, Airsoft guns fall in the same general category as air guns, which are not real firearms, and are free to be purchased from specialized shops. However, the purchase and use of airsoft guns is not permitted for people under 18 years old. It is prohibited to have any replica gun in public sight. This is treated similarly to illegal possession of a real firearm. The use of lasers, scopes, flashlights or any other pointing devices on any firearm is prohibited by the law. Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, airsoft guns are considered toys, as long as they are not able to be fired with a muzzle energy above 2 joules of kinetic energy, above which they are considered as a firearm and needs registration, and possession of an unregistered firearm is illegal. Under the Section 13 of Cap 238 Firearms and Ammunition Ordinance of the Hong Kong Law, unrestricted firearms and ammunition requires a license. Those found in possession without a license could be fined HKD $100,000 and imprisonment for up to 14 years. Indonesia, in Indonesia, there are no strict rules about airsoft and there is still no consideration by the government as to whether airsoft guns are treated as toys, or are equal to real guns. However, airsoft were first brought to Indonesia circa 1996 and 1997. The founders of Indonesian airsoft communities put some restrictions on airsoft games, for example, airsoft players are encouraged not to upgrade their gun above 450 fps or they will be rejected from the community. Moreover, anyone who wants to buy an airsoft gun, must be at least 18 years old and know the regulations and rules about the airsoft gun. Some events have occurred that are perceived as endangering the continuity of the hobby such as some robberies in which airsoft replicas were used. Therefore, in order to control its growth, there is a government-authorized club called Perbikin which is currently appointed by police to accommodate airsoft as a newborn sport. Another authorized club that exists in Indonesia to accommodate airsoft and all of its users are Pulgasi, Airsoft Brotherhood Unity and Airsoft Indonesia Federation. It is most likely that airsoft will be under IPSC supervision since one of the sports types can be categorized as IPSC and not just only as skirmish. However, this statement may only be wishful thinking, considering how little attention the government is paying to airsoft activities. The government hasn't approved skirmish as a sport, they only permit target shooting and IPSC only. In other words, Airsoft is only legal if a member of the Perbikin Club and do not participate in skirmishes. In recent developments in the start of 2013, the police and people from the airsoft communities have exchanged words and are now in a negotiation to legalize the sport provided the players make their units distinctive from a real firearm through the use of orange-tipped muzzle brakes. India. In India, airsoft is completely legal but is not recognized and is usually referred to as a toy by most people, as paintball is in more demand compared to airsoft. Even though airsoft in India is legal there are still a lot of legal actions that take place in order to get them, especially if they are metal and polymer. The issue with getting airsoft guns into India is the customs problem that occurs. Importing airsoft guns into India can create a huge problem since taxes are extremely high on things such as these. There is also a license for spring rifles in India that must be acquired in order to pass the toy rifles through customs. Ireland The status of airsoft in Ireland was changed after the 2006 Criminal Justice Act, which amended the previous Firearms Acts from 1925, 1963, 1972 and 1990. Where once authorization or a license was required for all devices which fired a projectile from a barrel, the law now defines a firearm as an air gun with a muzzle energy greater than one joule of kinetic energy or any other firearm incorporating a barrel from which any projectile can be discharged with such a muzzle energy. 
The aim of this change was to establish a classification of firearms in order to eliminate the legal oddity where toy suction cup dart guns and the like were legally classified as firearms, thus bringing Ireland into line with the rest of the EU. In this case, one joule was used as the limit, as opposed to seven joules in Germany, 12 foot-pounds force in the UK and so on. The one joule limit most likely arose from UK case law where it was found that energies in excess of one joule were required to penetrate an eyeball. As a result, airsoft devices under one joule of power have been declassified and have become legal to possess and use within Ireland. No airsoft site in Ireland would allow any player to use an airsoft device in excess of one joule. Israel, airsoft guns are classified as dangerous toys which makes airsoft legal to import, manufacture and sell by licensed retailers only. Due to the fact that this law is not related to criminal acts, thus not being very well enforced, until the year 2010 it was possible to find private retailers who import MPEG-level airsoft guns and also AEG-level airsoft guns. Currently, purchase of airsoft guns of all levels is possible only through one or two licensed retailers only. Israeli airsofters have created an airsoft association in an attempt to make airsoft legal a Jirit Jirit Airsoft Association in Israel, and ASI Association of Israeli Strike Ball. Jirit is cooperating with the Israeli Shooting Federation, joining it shortly as a member and cooperating with other governmental authorities in an attempt to make airsoft legal in Israel. For more information refer to GIRIT Association website HTTP www.airsoft.org.il, Jirid Airsoft Association has established cooperation with USIPSA, Ukrainian, Slovenian, Swedish and Czech airsofters. An Israeli national airsoft tactical shooting competition took place near Beit Beryl March 2007. As of July 2010, the Israeli Airsoft Associations had finished negotiations with the Israeli government. Since then, Every association can carry airsoft gear at home. Also transportation and carrying of airsoft guns may be done only if a tip of the barrel painted in red or orange color. Italy, airsoft guns and pistols are allowed a muzzle velocity below 100 AMS that is equivalent to a muzzle energy equal or minor to 1 joule. Under the law, airsoft guns are not classified as firearms, but as toys. One can buy and sell them both from stores and from another private citizen either domestically or from abroad. Internet purchasing and mail shipping is legal and unrestricted. No license or registration is required. There is no mandatory minimum age to purchase airsoft and or use it during a regular match. The Italian Ministry of Interior only recommends that their sale be restricted to people over the age of 18 or 14 if accompanied by a parent or legal tutor or if the replica is not particularly realistic or powerful. Red tips must be present on the barrel ends of the airsoft gun when they are imported and sold by a store. Once owned the airsoft gun, may remove the red tip. However, the similarity between genuine firearms and airsoft replicas is close enough to provoke interaction with law enforcement personnel if an airsoft gun is mistaken for its real counterpart. Airsoft use to commit a crime is treated as if using the real gun, assault weapons carry an extra mandatory sentence in addition to the regular punishment for the crime committed. Usage and open carriage of airsoft guns in public places is forbidden. One can play on private property away from public site or in a well-delimited private or state property after having asked the local authorities for a limited time permit and having alerted the local police command to avoid alarmed citizens calling for emergency. As the law limits the muzzle energy that an airsoft replica can develop before being classified by law as an air gun, modifying an airsoft gun to deliver more power or to shoot anything other than 6 BB plastic pellets is a felony. Japan. In Japan, airsoft guns are legal, but may not shoot with a muzzle energy above 1.00 joules. And for adolescents, 0.135 joules. Legal requirements are set on airsoft model manufacturers to prevent any possibility of a replica firearms being converted into an actual firearm. Standards include use of low melting point metals and non-ballistic plastics and structural components and incompatibility of mechanical components with actual firearm components and mechanisms. 
The overall litmus test used by Japanese national police authority is whether the replica firearm can be made to chamber and fire an actual round of ammunition. These standards have proven successful within Japan, as it has been found that criminal elements discovered that it is significantly easier to purchase an actual illegal firearm in comparison to modifying a comparatively fragile replica into a functional firearm. Due to this reality, most crimes involving a threat of physical violence are perpetrated with edged weapons, as firearms seen in public are believed to be toys by the public at large. Q8 in Q8 airsoft guns are classified as toys and can be bought under 18 years of age. New growth in the airsoft market has created many stores that sell gas and electric operated airsoft guns with an FPS of 300 to 450. Airsoft is also an unorganized sport, along with paintballing, although official places do have official airsoft and paintball arenas. Along with paintball, Airsoft is categorized as a common item most people have in Q8 and is practiced by mainly teenagers of 13 or 17. Thus, airsoft is legal, and is considered a toy. Lithuania, registration of any sort is not required for airsoft firearms. However, largest country's airsoft player community and few largest airsoft gear sellers in a country decided so that airsoft firearms would only be available for purchase to people over 18 years. Any airsoft gun, if it doesn't exceed 2.5J of energy, is not considered a weapon and is not a subject to any registration procedure. Macau, airsoft guns are legal but may not be fired with a muzzle energy above 2 joules of kinetic energy. Malaysia, airsoft guns are classified as real weapon counterparts which makes airsoft in Malaysia illegal to own, import, manufacture and sell without a license permit which is very hard almost impossible and is expensive to get. Currently no companies and sports associations have the permit license to import airsoft weapons. Most applications come from security services related companies and a few sports association. Several companies and several institutions as well as sports associations have applied to use airsoft, especially with from the Malaysia Ministry of Sports. As well as from the police, or Ministry of Internal Affairs, the latter two are responsible for security, but none have been approved. As of now no legislation specifically for airsoft has been drafted. In their absence, the Firearms Act, has precedents and thus are considered firearms slash replica firearms. Both are permit license controlled. The legal status of airsoft is that it is not legal to own, trade, transport display or play openly without permits licenses. Police frequently organize operations to weed out illegally owned firearms, especially from gangsters, and in these sweeps unfortunately airsoft users are frequently targeted. Police frequently arrest airsoft users and seize airsoft items and accessories, then charge the arrested persons with illegal possession of firearms and paraphernalia. This usually involves jail time and fines. The airsoft items and accessories are invariably seized and destroyed. All players who play airsoft are not involved with officially sanctioned games. All play independent privately organized games. Not a single private institution association currently controls or represents airsoft in Malaysia and no official slash independent groups are registered either with the Ministry of Sports, Police, or Interior Ministry to do so. Ref. Firearms Act Malaysia, Enhanced Penalties, 1971, DCDC. Malta, airsoft guns were legally introduced in 1985. These have been classified under the category of air guns. In this classification one finds air rifles, airsoft guns and paintball guns. At that time, to own and purchase any of these guns one must have a target shooter be licensed and be member of a registered and licensed club. Now, there is an amendment to the current regulation which came into effect in 2013 for airsoft and paintball guns, which are non-lethal guns. It is no longer required to have a target shooter license be to purchase, use and or own airsoft or paintball, but must have a valid membership with a legally registered club. All non-registered users who are found to be in possession of airsoft without the legal requirements will be considered to have an illegal gun graded as a fire at decisions. Netherlands, as of 1 January, 2013, 
new Dutch laws regarding airsoft have come into action. Airsoft replicas are air, gas, or spring-powered weapons with a maximum shooting energy of 3.5 joules and look almost completely like real firearms. Those who wish to possess an airsoft replica or with the participate in a skirmish will have to be registered with the NABV or another certified airsoft organization. New Zealand, air-powered firearms are legal to possess and use in New Zealand, provided that the person is either over 18 years of age or 16 with a firearms license. A person under 18 may not possess an air gun, but may use one under the direct supervision of someone over 18 or a firearms license holder. In New Zealand airsoft guns are allowed to be fired in single shot, semi-automatic firing modes and full auto. Airsoft weapons capable of firing in automatic mode were illegal to import and use. It is illegal to use these firearms in any manner that may endanger or intimidate members of the public except where there is reasonable cause such as an airsoft game. Police, New Zealand, Air Guns Fact Sheet, Retrieve 2007-07-24A as of December 18, 2013 airsoft guns are now allowed to have and use full auto mode. However, title restrictions on importation of airsoft rifles mean that in order to import an airsoft gun one must meet one of these stipulations, seeks to possess the restricted air gun as part of a collection, and demonstrates that it fits with and enhances an existing collection, or, participates in an identifiable shooting discipline or sport at an incorporated sports club with rules encouraging safe and legal use of firearms air guns and a range certified for the shooting activity and intends to use the restricted air gun in an event at that sports club, or, wishes to use the restricted air gun in a capacity equivalent to that described in Section 29, 2e, of the Arms Act 1983, or, wishes to replace an unsafe or unserviceable restricted air gun, or, requires the restricted air gun for occupational purposes, or, the individual applying for the permit to import demonstrates the special significance of that particular restricted air gun as an heirloom or memento, or, a dealer needs to import restricted air guns for the purposes of maintaining a stock of restricted air guns used for an identifiable shooting discipline or sport, or, a dealer is importing the restricted air gun as agent for an individual who has a special reason for importing that item, or, a dealer wishes to replace an unsafe or unserviceable restricted air gun. Legislation, New Zealand, Arms Act 1983, retrieved 2014-07-15R, Norway. The arms control legislation requires that one has to be at least 18 years old to buy but can be used and owned by younger if they are wearing protection and approved by parents. A firearm certificate is not required. Using an airsoft firearm while committing a crime receives the same punishment as the one received for using a real weapon. The police are allowed to treat one as if one were carrying a real gun, as many airsoft rifles are difficult to tell from their real counterparts. One is also required to carry firearms inside a bag, or some other kind of container to conceal the firearm from the public. In addition there are some restrictions on the usage of uniforms in public, airsoft explosives and smoke grenades during gummy play. Philippines, airsoft in the Philippines is a sport. It is embraced by all ages and the sport is acknowledged by the public. In order to play the sport, airsoft guns must be serialized and registered. Players must also sequester a permit to legally transport their guns to authorized game sites. The permit to transport is restricted to the Luzon and Visalas regions only and should be renewed yearly. Unregistered airsoft guns may be confiscated. Orange red tipped paint must also be used to indicate that the said air gun is not a real gun. Remaining legal issues, Letter of Instruction 1264, a presidential directive, signed by former President Ferdinand Marcos in 1982, bans the import, sale and public display of gun replicas. Also under Philippine law, a memo from the Chief of the Philippine National Police amending the PNP rules and regulations cannot overrule, repeal or amend a presidential directive. Only the legislative body, the Supreme Court or the current president can do so. The Philippine National Police has been given the authority to classify what constitutes a gun replica and airsoft guns were deemed different from replicas, 
therefore the common legal interpretation is that there may be no need to repeal LOI 1264 in order to achieve full legalization of airsoft in the Philippines. Despite the differences in legal interpretation, traders and players are able to conduct business and play freely as long as they comply with the requirements of the Philippine National Police. Republic ACT No. 10591, this law was enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives last July 23, 2012 and this is a an act providing for a comprehensive law on firearms and ammunition. This new law repeals all other laws pertaining to firearms including airsoft guns, SEC. 45. Repealing Clause. A Euro This Act repeals Sections 1, 2, 5 and 7 of Presidential Decree No. 1866, as amended, and Section 6 of Republic Act No. 8294 and all other laws, executive orders, letters of instruction, issuances, circulars, administrative orders, rules or regulations that are inconsistent herewith. Section 3 of this Republic Act totally declassified airsoft guns as a real firearm, L. Firearm refers to any handheld or portable weapon, whether a small arm or light weapon, that expels or is designed to expel a bullet, shot, slug, missile or any projectile, which is discharged by means of expansive force of gases from burning gunpowder or other form of combustion or any similar instrument or implement. For purposes of this act, the barrel, frame or receiver is considered a firearm. Posted on May 29, 2013. Philippine Election Gun Ban, every month and year of the Philippine elections and months leading up to it now has the strict firearm ban which was first imposed in 2010 by the Philippine Commission on Elections, CUMLIC, during preparations. The law states that it will be always done in every December of the present year before the upcoming election year if it is a presidential election or on January of the election year if it is a midterm election. The ban terminates after the election month on a certain day. The ban places airsoft guns in the list of banned firearms aside from gun replicas and real firearms. It classifies that no person is permitted to carry firearms in public except for security officers, police officers and military personnel on duty. The first known imposition of the ban was during the preparations for the May 10 elections in 2010. The rule imposition started from December 2009 until May 2010. There had been some reports of arrests of civilians as well as some off-duty police officers and military personnel who were caught carrying a firearm in public. Majority of these incidents happened in Metro Manila and some or a few were reported in provinces. Poland, airsoft guns as well as the sport of airsoft illegal in Poland. The law does not distinguish airsoft guns from air guns, thus the only requirement is that they cannot exceed 17 J of energy which would classify them as pneumatic weapons. Orange tip and markings indicating a 6mm BB caliber are not regulated by the law but some replicas come with them due to rights in other countries. Open carrying an airsoft replica in a public area is prohibited. Using an airsoft replica in a crime is treated by the law like using a real firearm. Attaching a light emitting device to an airsoft gun is allowed. Age restrictions are somewhat foggy. One must be 18 to buy an airsoft replica but there are no age restrictions to who can use one. Also many airsoft retailers in Poland are internet stores and they are unable to check if the person buying an airsoft gun is at legal age. There are informal rules called Prawo ASG, which are created by the players for the players. They define the good way of playing airsoft. Since they are not official, these rules do not have to be obeyed by the whole airsoft community in Poland. Portugal, with the new revision of the Guns and Ammunition Act, airsoft guns are no longer considered as firearms. Currently, the formal definition of an airsoft gun is a recreational firearm replica. However, in order to be characterized as a recreational firearm replica, their muzzle energy must not exceed 1.3 J. The minimum age to purchase and use these replicas is 18 years old, however, a 13 years old may be allowed to buy and use them with a written parental consent. One must be a member of an APD, Sport Promotion Association. Recognition of this APD is made by the IDP, Portuguese Sports Institute as it represents the state. 
The Guns and Ammunition Act also states that after being approved by the IDP, the APD must be enlisted as such by the Portuguese Law Enforcement Authority. There are several APDs for Airsoft in Portugal, CAM, Clube de Airsoft da Maia, ALA Associa Picavolt Pondo Lusitana de Airsoft, APA, Associa Picavolt Pondo Portuguesa de Airsoft, ANA, Associa Picavolt Pondo Nacional de Airsoft, APMA, Associa Picavolt Pondo Portuguesa de Milsimi Airsoft, ADAPT. Associa Picavolt Pound O Desportiva de Airsoft Portugua S and AACP, Associa Picavolt Pound O Airsoft Costa de Prata. In addition, replicas have to be painted either in fluorescent yellow or fluorescent red and in compliance with the following criteria, long guns 10 cm from the barrel tip and 100% of the stock. Short guns 5 cm from the barrel tip and 100% of the grip. Romania, Law and R. 295 from 2004 regulates all use of firearms and associated ammunition. The law is quite unclear as to whether this kind of firearm classifies as non-lethal weapon, or toy. The law regulates the use of air-powered firearms under non-lethal category and solely requires that one is at least 18 years old and register the firearm at the police precinct nearest to one's location. The law specifies that usage of night vision or laser aiming devices designed for military use is completely restricted to members of the army and associated entities even if the aiming device is used on a lower restriction category firearm. The law, however, does not restrict in any way the use of aiming devices not designed for military use. Furthermore, the law specifies that, should one attempt to use a non-lethal or replica gun to perform armed robbery, one shall be prosecuted as if a real gun had been used. A new addition to the law 295-2004 was made at February 17, 2008 called OUG 28-2008 which add further restrictions to the forms and regulations. Since February 23, 2010, in Romania, based on an airsoft competition and its regulation, airsoft is officially a sport, not only a welfare activity. Since June 2011, airsoft replicas have been inserted in firearms and associated ammunition law as non-lethal device which does not require any authorization to be own, used for recreational purposes E-class in weapons classification. The use of metal projectiles is prohibited by law. Russia, airsoft guns with muzzle energy below 3 joules are legal, not considered weapons and do not require any permission. Serbia, at this moment, Laws consider airsoft replicas as toys and do not require permission to own or use. Slovakia, airsoft guns have a status similar to the Czech Republic and Slovenia, where they are considered to be firearms. All firearms are governed by law 190-2003. Here, airsoft guns fit into firearm class D and no permit is needed. The use of airsoft guns is allowed by players that are at least 18 years old. Guns may not have an energy greater than 15 joules. The use of night vision scopes is forbidden. The owner of a gun is required by law to secure the firearm when not using it. Slovenia, one has to be at least 18 years to buy airsoft guns. If the velocity of an airsoft gun is below 100 AMS that is equivalent to 1 joule, it is considered to be a toy. If the velocity is higher than 100 AMS, the airsoft gun is classified as a Section D firearm in the firearms control legislation of Slovenia. Additionally Airsoft Clubs and National Shooters Association in Slovenia recommends that airsoft gun velocities should not be above 100 AMS. Singapore, a few clubs in Singapore have managed to set up IPSC shooting using airsoft guns with permission from the government. Numerous petitions have been put up to appeal against the blanket ban in an effort to lessen the restricted access to airsoft, but they have been swiftly rejected without scrutinization. Spain, last regulation in Spain dates January 5, 2013, and guns are now included as fourth category weapons. This update to the law changes the name of the guns to Armas Ludico de Portivas. Players have now to comply with their town hall's requirements, which differ from town to town. Simplest registry takes only to fulfill the fourth category Class A or B card with the manufacturer's name, model, 
serial number and caliber than have it stamped by the town's authorities. Some cities' towns however require players to provide a criminal record certificate, pass a psychological exam, have the guns serialized by a certified armorer and have them inspected to check that the serial numbers match the declared ones. Towns that have not yet decided how to proceed with the registry leave the players in a gray area, because they cannot obtain the card anywhere else but the town live in. It is legal to buy, possess and sell airsoft replicas and accessories. Custom duties for importing from outside the Schengen area apply normally. Sweden, one must be at least 18 years old to buy and use airsoft firearms. Minors can practice target shooting under supervision by the legal guardian of the minor. In order to possess a CO2, air or spring-operated firearm without a license, the impact energy of a projectile fired at a distance of 4 meters must be less than 10 joules. If it is semi or fully automatic, the impact energy must be less than 3 joules. To import a weapon using propellant other than air or CO2 requires a permit obtained from the police, which is valid for the import of a specific weapon of a specific amount. From 2 January 2015 the ban for importing gas guns will be lifted. Switzerland In Switzerland, airsoft guns used to be unregulated and were treated as toys. As of December 12, 2008, the law was changed to classify them as weapons. Airsoft firearms may not be sold to persons who are under 18 who have a criminal conviction. Additionally, airsoft firearms may not be sold to individuals from Albania, Algeria, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Serbia, Turkey or Sri Lanka. The import of airsoft firearms is restricted to companies and individuals who hold weapons import licenses. Private individuals can apply for a permit to import up to three firearms which is valid for six months. Commercial sales are legal providing the purchaser is not prohibited under any of the above restrictions. For private sales to take place, there must be a written contract between both parties. Both parties are required to retain the contract for a period of 10 years. As they contain no propellant, there is no restriction on the purchase or import of airsoft BBs. It is illegal to carry any airsoft firearms in a public place, however it is permissible to transport them directly between a player's home and an event site. Further information can be found at the Swiss Airsoft Federation website. 2. Thailand Whilst shops sell airsoft guns and supplies the law is a bit vague. Paintball guns, BB guns and airsoft guns are not considered firearms, so it is legal to possess them without having a permit or registering them. However the owner must comply with the following conditions, the gun has not been modified to use CO2. Only plastic bullets are used a euro no metal bullets or marbles may be fired. When carrying the gun outside of the owner a Euro unregistered trademark as property it must be packed in a safe case or box. It is not allowed to be carried in shirt or trouser pockets, nor can it be left out in the open. The gun can a Euro unregistered trademark T be used to commit a crime or torture animals. The gun is considered illegal if any of these rules are broken. United Kingdom, there are currently certain restrictions on the possession of airsoft replicas, which came in with the introduction of the ASBA amendments, prohibiting the possession of any firearms replica in a public place without good cause. The prohibition of self-contained gas cartridge firearms can arguably apply to most carts and BB shower grenade systems, although it is intended to ban the sale of Brocock cartridge revolvers. However, a formal case precedent has yet to be set. According to Section 36 of the VCRA, which came into effect on October 1, 2007, RIFs may not be sold, imported or manufactured. Unrealistic imitation firearms must have their principal color as transparent, bright red, bright orange, bright yellow, bright blue, bright green, bright pink or bright purple or have dimensions of no more than a height of 38 mm and a length of 70 mm. Defenses to the act are available for the following, a museum or gallery, theatrical performances and rehearsals of such performances, the production of films and television programs, the organization and holding of historical reenactments, crown servants. The notes for the VCRA state the following, 
the regulations provide for two new defenses. The first is for the organization and holding of airsoft skirmishing. This is defined by reference to permitted activities, and the defense applies only where third-party liability insurance is held in respect of the activities. And the defense for airsoft skirmishing can apply to individual players because their purchase of realistic imitation firearms for this purpose is considered part of the holding of a skirmishing event. The airsoft defense is based on whether or not a person is a skirmisher. One of the measures put in place by retailers was the forming of a centrally recorded and maintained database. This system is managed by the United Kingdom Airsoft Retailers Association or UKARA. UKARA shares the database of registered skirmishers with the member retailers allowing quick and easy verification that the purchaser is allowed to buy a RIF under the VCRA skirmisher defense. To qualify for the UKARA database a person must be a regular skirmisher in order to be registered in the airsoft site they register skirmish it must hold public public liability insurance. As long as a person can prove that they are an airsoft skirmisher, they may purchase RIFs. This can be done successfully by either joining the UKARA database or other means, such as ordering a RIF from outside the UK and ensuring the parcel is marked in such a fashion that if customs were to stop the parcel they can check the purchaser's validity to purchase said RIF. Airsoft is not prohibited to persons under the age of 18, nor is owning a RIF, although the only way they are able to obtain a RIF or RIF is by being given the item as a gift or by having parental consent. If someone under the age of 18 attempts to purchase an airsoft weapon, they are committing a crime and it may result in a fine. The law on the use and purchase of air guns has only recently been changed, in the 2007 VCR Act. This act, with violent crime reduction as its theme, included a change in the age at which one can legally buy an air gun, raising it from 17 to 18 years of age. It also changed the way in which air guns can be bought from shops. From October 1, 2007 shops selling air guns as part of their business have become registered firearms dealers and one can only buy from them direct, and not by mail order. This restriction only applies to air guns and silencers, not to scopes, mounts or any of the huge range of air gun related accessories available from gun shops, and neither does it apply to private air gun sales as available, for instance, in Air Gun World Bullseyes or Air Gun Swap Shop. Our sport is governed by laws that are among the most strict in the world and all responsible air gunners see it as their duty to conduct themselves in accordance with those laws. Running alongside the laws of the land, are another set of rules that in their own way are every bit as important. These rules cover general and specific points of safe gun handling and must be learned, used, abided by and taught to others, every time we handle our air guns. Our total respect for safe gun handling isn't just a requirement of air gunning, it's a fundamental shooting skill without which our sport would not exist. Shooting safely and with full regard for the law is the only way to maintain our high standards and to represent our sport as it really is. The penalties for breaking the laws that govern air guns are, rightfully, severe and those penalties bring air gunners entirely under the jurisdiction of the full firearms laws. In simple terms, when used unlawfully, air guns are regarded by the legal authorities as firearms, and carry exactly the same legal status as shotguns and live ammunition guns, with no concession in law for the air gun's vastly reduced power levels. Criminals using air guns face huge penalties, including terms in prison, again fully in line with the laws covering firearms. Using an air gun, it is legal for anyone above the age of 14 to shoot an air gun, unsupervised on private land where full permission to shoot has been given. Those below the age of May 14 shoot air guns only if closely supervised by someone over 21 years of age. The supervising adult is legally responsible for the actions of the junior shooter. Air guns may be used only on land where the user has full permission to shoot. This may be one's garden, or private land owned or leased by an individual or club. Wherever one shoots, must ensure that all of pellets remain within the boundary of the land to which shooting permission applies. It is illegal to shoot an air gun on any land, including common land, river banks, public land, recreation areas or playing fields and land covered by water, that is lakes, ponds, 
canals and rivers where do not have full permission from the land's owner or its tenant. It is also illegal to fire an air gun closer than 50 feet from the center of a public highway, bridleway or footpath, if shooting causes upset or inconvenience to those using the highway. It is legal for persons authorized by the landowner or tenant to carry out vermin control with an air rifle. The legal air gun quarry species include brown rats, magpies, carrion crows, rooks, jays, squirrels, wood pigeons, feral pigeons and collared doves. Other species, such as lesser black-backed gulls, herring gulls and greater black-backed gulls are best left to professional pest controllers. Air gun power the legal muzzle energy limit for air rifles is 12 FTLB and for pistols, 6 FTLB. Do not require any form of license for sublegal limit air guns. For rifles producing more than 12 FTLB, a firearm certificate is required. Air pistols that produce more than 6 FTLB are prohibited. Transporting air guns. Air guns must always be transported in securely fastened cases that do not permit the air gun to be fired whilst in the case. Since the implementation of the Anti-Social Behavior Act, 2003, air gunners between 14 and 18 years of age are no longer allowed to transport an air gun to the venues at which they shoot. These shooters must be accompanied and supervised by someone of 21 years or above. Remember too that it is now illegal to have an air gun loaded or not in a public place without lawful authority or reasonable excuse. This restriction applies to all air guns, even those that are being carried in securely fastened gun cases. As with all air gun laws, the responsibility lies with the user and the potential penalties are extremely severe. One must therefore make it a priority to learn and understand these laws as they apply to shooting. United States, under federal law, Airsoft guns are not classified as firearms and are legal for all ages. Persons under the age of 18 are not permitted to buy airsoft guns over the counter in stores. However, a person of any age may use one. This is also the case for the laws in each state. However, in some major cities and population centers the definition of a firearm within their respected ordinances includes propulsion by spring or compressed air, thus making airsoft subject to applicable laws. For example, airsoft guns within the state of California can only be bought by a person above the age of 18. However, no laws indicate an age requirement to sell airsoft guns. A gun has to have an orange tip during shipping. Although airsoft guns in the United States are generally sold with a 6mm or longer orange tip on the barrel in order to distinguish them from real firearms, this is not required by federal law. Manufacturers and importers may cite Title 15 of the Code of Federal Regulations on Foreign Commerce and Trade, which stipulate that no person shall manufacture, enter into commerce, ship, transport, or receive any toy, look alike, or imitation firearm without approved markings. These may include an orange tip, orange barrel plug, brightly colored exterior of the whole toy, or transparent construction. However, Section 272.1 clearly indicates that these restrictions shall not apply to traditional BB, paintball, or pellet firing air guns that expel a projectile through the force of compressed air, compressed gas or mechanical spring action, or any combination thereof. This language clearly exempts airsoft guns from these requirements, placing them in the same category as BB guns, pellet, air, and paintball, none of which are conventionally sold or used with an orange tip, and many of which bear as much resemblance to real firearms as airsoft guns do. Airsoft guns' trademarks must be removed where the manufacturer does not have an existing license agreement with the manufacturer of the real firearm. For example, Classic Army has a sub-licensing agreement with Action Sport Gummies a registered trademark AS which holds the worldwide rights for ARMA Light and others, so the trademarks can stay on imported replicas of ARMA Light's weapons. In practice, enforcement is hit or miss. One might get an unlicensed gun through customs with trademarks intact, while a licensed gun might be held in customs by an uninformed customs agent. In early 2007, a House resolution to allow imports to retain trademarks, even without agreement between the real firearms manufacturer and the replica manufacturer, was unsuccessful. In addition, 
the similarity between genuine firearms and airsoft replicas is close enough to provoke interaction with local law enforcement personnel if an airsoft gun is carried openly in public. If someone were to, for example, attempt a robbery with an airsoft gun, they would be charged as if the airsoft gun were a real firearm. New York City requires that all realistic toy or imitation firearms be made of clear or brightly colored plastics. Furthermore, New York City makes possession of any pistol or rifle or similar instrument in which the propelling force is a spring or air unlawful without a license. See New York City Administrative Code a Section 10 to 131, B, and New York City Administrative Code a Section 10 to 131, G, 1, A. Michigan allows the purchase of airsoft guns. However, they must have an orange tip on the barrel. Texas allows airsoft guns to be owned, but most cities require that the airsoft guns be discharged only while outside city limits. Some cities in Illinois consider shipping or distributing airsoft guns illegal. It is officially now legal to remove the orange tip of the airsoft gun. In Minnesota, it is illegal for a child under the age of 14 to possess an airsoft gun unless under the supervision of a parent or adult. It is also illegal for any child under 16 to purchase an airsoft gun without parental advisory involvement. In St. Paul and Minneapolis, airsoft guns cannot be carried in public unless they either have an orange tip, or the airsoft guns are clear or brightly colored. It is legal to possess airsoft guns in these cities as long as they are transported in a closed and fastened gun case and unloaded. The vast majority of municipalities in Minnesota ban the firing of an airsoft gun within the city limits. Arkansas has passed a bill which went into effect in January 2010 which mirrors the federal law on airsoft guns in that it bans the sale or transport airsoft guns without orange tips, a transparent translucent body, or colored other than black blue metallic. Also, those guns that are clear are still locked to sell or transport. The bill bans imitation firearms, but has the following to say about the definition of imitation firearms in Section 2B. Imitation firearm does not include, 1, a non-firing, collector replica of an antique firearm developed before 1898. Traditional BB, paintball, or pellet firing air guns that expel a projectile through the force of air pressure. Or a device for which an orange solid plug or marking is permanently affixed to the muzzle end of the barrel for a depth of not more than 6 mm, for which the entire exterior surface is predominantly colored other than black, brown, blue, silver, or metallic. Or, c, that is constructed of transparent or translucent materials that permit unmistakable observation of the complete contents of the device. Therefore, the bill bans neither, Imitation firearms that are predominantly colored something other than black, brown, blue, silver or metallic. Nor imitation firearms that are built of predominantly transparent or translucent materials, allowing anyone to determine the contents of the firearm. Nor those which have bright orange tips which indicate that they are a toy, and not a real firearm. New Jersey law clearly states that BB and airsoft guns are considered real firearms, therefore making them subject to the same laws as actual firearms. This means that one have to have a license to possess one and one must be over 18 to operate and or own an airsoft pellet gun. If one are not over 18 and or do not have a license and are caught with an airsoft pellet gun, one will get arrested and charges may include, unlawful possession of a weapon. Punishments may include, third degree crime, punishable by three to five years imprisonment, a fine of up to $15,000, or both. NJ Stat. An. A millisecond section 2C, 39-5, 2C, 58-4, enforcement of this law is intermittent. There are many fields and stores in operation and sporting goods stores regularly carry airsoft replicas. However, a man was arrested in 2013 for firing a replica in his backyard, references. HTTP, SCAG DARK BBC OMPNP Circular No. 11 T222 HTM.